Here come the robots. Today, Monday, is the final day of the Global Mobile Internet Conference. Mobile Infinity was the name of the game, and human-like robots were stealing the show. Hansen Robotics, led by Dr. David Hansen, brought its newest robot, Sophia, to life. Her skin is made from silicon, and she can show more than 62 facial expressions. She can speak English and even Mandarin Chinese. Hello, everybody. I'm Sophia, the latest robot from Hanson Robotics. I'm proud to be here at GMIC in beautiful Beijing, China. We're scaling the manufacturing uh, of our Sophia robot platform to address entertainment, customer service, and medical applications. We're, we're selling to, uh, to our customer partners, uh, and eventually uh, we will have a, a mass release of Sophia. We expect that she will be very useful in China uh, for helping teach science and uh, perform many other kinds of helper applications. Cameras inside her eyes, combined with computer algorithms, enable her to see follow faces, make eye contact, and recognize individuals. A combination of alphabets, Google Chrome, voice recognition system, and other technologies enable Sophia to process speech, chat, and get smarter over time. Robots are also moving ahead at the robotics lab of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, the MIT. Quadruped, like four-legged machine. Uh, they're much more robust. We, everybody's fascinated by the uh, bipedal human-like robot, but I, in my opinion, I think a uh, four-legged machine is gonna be much more practical and it's gonna be much more robust. So we're thinking about uh, achieving mobility first and then and try to use this robot in very dangerous environment. Power plant and disaster situation, and then even the uh, oil refinery where there's a lot of chemical uh, hedgers and high temperature, low temperature, you can name it. You can think about so many situations where robots perform much better than human. He built a robotic cheetah, which can see and jump over hurdles as it runs, making this the first four-legged robot to run and jump over obstacles autonomously. Robots are not only for fun and games, but also an increasingly serious business in China. In April, the Chinese government issued a new guideline aiming to triple the annual production of industrial robots to 100,000 by 2020, compared with fewer than 33,000 in 2015. 3D Robotics, based in Berkeley, California, meanwhile, rather spots the opportunity in smart drones, advanced aerial cinema and UAV technology. It recently developed Solo, the world's first GoPro optimized smart drone. And you're going to see them in the biggest industries in the world. So the biggest industry is agriculture, and you'll see drones doing crop mapping. The next biggest industry is in construction. Construction is an industry that begins digital on a screen with a design, but then becomes analog as you start digging. Uh, the third biggest industry is energy, and so drones are doing everything from solar panel inspection, uh, pipelines, power lines. Are machines taking over? The rise of the robots has triggered fears that super-intelligent robots could steal real people's jobs in the future. Remember though that already in the early 1800s, machinery reduced the need for human labor, but the world was not left without work. Martina Fuchs, CCTV News, Beijing.